Specifically, the text tells us to pray in the Spirit. Now, what does that mean exactly? I mean, is there a way to pray, you know, not in the Spirit? Here's what I know. There are times when we don't know how to pray, where our intellect is limited in what words to even use. And so this is a wonderful gift to the believer. When the Holy Spirit begins to pray through us, our worship team, we get together and we pray. We pray every time, Lord, we pray that you will sing through us. You heard it tonight, how Morgan sang, I believe in miracle power and a wonder working God. You heard Tony sing, I may not know what the day may bring, but I know who brings the day. They weren't just singing those songs. Jesus was singing through them. Are you hearing me, family? It's not just singing, it's singing in the spirit. It's not just praying, right? It's praying in the spirit. It's not just preaching, it's preaching in the spirit where he sings through us. He prays through us. He preaches through us. Look at Romans 8 and verse 26. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for. Here it is. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. So it's not one or the other. It's both and we pray with our understanding, but we also pray in the Spirit. It's that deeper place of prayer guided by the Holy Spirit. And listen, family, it's my opinion. Some scholars will differ with me on this position that I'm making. What we are speaking about here is this Spirit-enabled ability to pray in what the Greek word is glossolalia, which means languages, also known as tongues, to be able to pray in tongues, to be able to sing in tongues in other languages. I heard one guy say, no, no, I don't think that's what it is because not everybody has the gift of tongues. Listen, when you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, spiritual gifts are given for the edification of the church, to build up the church. That's what the purpose of spiritual gifts are. And one of the spiritual gifts is the gift, the spiritual gift of tongues. That is a message from God through the believer to the church. That is not what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about the gift given to the church. I'm talking about what God gives you to build you up, to fire you up, to give you the dunamis. Acts 1 and verse 8, you will receive power. That's what I'm talking about. The baptism of the Holy Spirit, this spirit-enabled ability to pray to God in glossolalia, tongues languages. It says, but you, dear friends, build yourselves up. You see it? Build yourselves up in your most holy faith and what? Pray in the Holy Spirit. If you have not yet been baptized in the Holy Spirit and been given, according to Acts 2 and verse 4, this ability, this enablement to pray to God in glossolalia, languages and tongues, I encourage you, start praying and asking God for this because it unlocks a whole nother dimension to your walk with the Lord. It unlocks a whole nother level of your prayer life, a whole nother level of reading your Bible, a whole nother level of worship because it's power, power. Thank you.